Hello everyone. Welcome to the Engineering Talk Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn some basic concepts of belts and belt drives. As we all know that belt is a flexible mechanical element. While belt drive is a mechanism which uses this flexible belt for continuous power transmission. Belt drives make use of belts to mechanically link two or more rotating shafts and transmit continuous power. Belts are classified into many types according to its usage, position, shapes like flat belts, V belts, round belts and timing or tooth belts. While the belt drives are classified as flat belt drives and compound belt drives. The flat belt drives are further classified as open belt drive, crossed belt drive and quarter turn belt drive. Types of belt Flat belt Flat belts are used where shaft is at a distance of 5 to 10 meters and low power is required at high speed. V belt V belts are used where shaft distance is less than 2 meters and high power is required at moderate speed. Round belt Round belts are used where there is smaller initial tension, absence of vibration and noise, shaft distance is more than 5 meters and a very high power transmission is required. Timing belts Timing belts are positive drives. They are used for precise and reliable applications. Types of belt drive Flat belt drive Open belt drive In open belt drives, the axis of two pulleys are parallel to each other. It transmits power by using friction produced between the belt and pulley. The rotation of pulleys is in same direction. Crossed belt drive Cross belt drives are similar to open belt drives, but the difference between these two are that in cross belt drive the direction of rotation is opposite to each other. Here both the pulleys are set up to offset position by providing some misalignments between them. Quarter turn belt drive In quarter turn belt drive the two axes of pulleys are at right angle to each other. These drives are used in industries for parallel to tangential power transmission. Compound belt drives Compound belt drives are used when power is transmitted from one shaft to another through a number of pulleys. Basic working principle It consists of driver pulley and driven pulley. The driver pulley is normally connected to motor or engine which causes the pulley to rotate. This rotation causes friction between the pulley and belt. As a result, the belt will experience pulling effect. This pulling effect causes one side of the belt to be tight and the other side to be slack. Slip in belt drives Slip is due to incorrect tensions in the belt. In this phenomena, the driver pulley moves and the driven pulley does not move. It is more prominent in a V-belt drive than a flat belt drive. It results in reduced power transmission and so slip should be reduced to the minimum. Creep in belt drive If belt is made of material of low modulus, there will be significant change in length of the belt in moving from tight side tension to the slack side tension and hence creep occurs. It can also occur because of pulleys not being parallel to each other. It is more prominent in a flat belt drive. To avoid creep, pulleys must be crowned in the center so that there is no relative motion between the pulley and the belt. Creeping belt drives results in reduced power transmission. And so various measures should be taken to reduce it to the minimum. Advantages and Limitations Advantages of belt drives Belt drives are simple and economical. They don't require parallel shafts. Belt drives are provided with overload and jam protection. Noise and vibrations are damped out and so the machinery life is increased because load fluctuations are shock absorbed. They are lubrication free and they require less maintenance cost. Belt drives are highly efficient in use up to 98% and usually up to 95%. They are very economical when distance between the shafts is very large. Limitations of belt drives They need to be retensioned periodically or some adjustment of center distance have to be made by use of an idler pulley for wear and stretch compensation. The belts are more prone to deterioration from exposure to lubricants or chemicals. The belts cannot be repaired, it must be replaced. Heat buildup occurs and the speed is usually limited to 35 meters per second. The power transmission is also limited up to 370 kilowatts. Quick review. 
belt and belt drives belt is a flexible mechanical element while belt drive is a mechanism which uses this flexible belt for continuous power transmission belt drives make use of belts to mechanically link two or more rotating shafts and transmit continuous power the purpose of belt drive is to transmit power at very long distance belts are classified as flat belt v belt round belt and timing or tooth belt belt drives are classified as flat belt drives and compound belt drives the flat belt drives are further classified as open belt drive crossed belt drive and quarter turn belt drive slip and creep in belt drive slip is the phenomena in which the driver pulley moves and the driven pulley does not move slip is due to incorrect tensions in the belt while creep is a significant change in length of the belt in moving from tight side tension to the slack side tension the belt drive advantages are they are easy to clean lubrication free they absorb high shock loads and there is wide selection of speed ratio the operation is quiet and the efficiency is over 95% they transmit power between wide space shafts and there is also visual warning of failure the disadvantages of belt drives are they need to be retensioned periodically also there is deterioration of belts from exposure to lubricants or chemicals the belts cannot be repaired they must be replaced there is also heat build up taking place when the belt is in operation the speed is usually limited to 35 meters per second and the power transmission is also limited up to 370 kilowatts